I just decided to make a quick video. Hey, how is everybody doing? Uh, I hope you're having a good time wherever you are. Um, so I'm just here enjoying my day, enjoying my night actually. But I wanted to take the time out to record a little bit of one of my favorite artists. I have three of them. One is Luther. The other one is Whitney Houston. She's first. So she's my baby. Will always be my baby. Crap, whatever, everything. She's my baby. And three, Michael Jackson. Of course, there's other artists that I like. But those three will stand out to me. Why I like Whitney Houston? Because she sings from her soul. And she brings everything out. And you could feel what she's saying. Even when she's on a bad day, or having a bad day singing, you could still feel her. You could still ride that groove with her. And that's what I love about Whitney. You know? And she taught me how to do She taught me all that stuff. <laughs> and one of my favorite songs from her is, um, A few stolen moment is all that we shared you got your family and they me you there though I try to resist being last on your list but no other girl's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. It's not very easy living alone. My friends try and tell me, find a new girl I'm on. But each time I try, I just break down and cry. Cause no other girl gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. Yeah, that's a little song song. <laughs> and I have to say Luther because as much as he sang about love and he wanted love and, and all them stuff, he never really, really experienced that whole love thing relationship thing which he, he did but I mean he didn't really have it like how some of us would be in a long term relationship and <clears throat> really loving that person and having a good time so and I love him for the runs he does and going deep like, mm -hmm. you know I love Luther for that and how he just sings period and that's why I love my son Luther and I would have to say one of my um one of my favorite songs from Luther besides, I mean, there's countless, especially like, a room is still a room, even when there's no one there, something to that effect. But I prefer um, his rendition of The Impossible Dream because it speaks to me. It tells me that whatever you want to achieve in this life, whatever you want to do, it is not impossible. Regardless of what people have to say about you, regardless of how people look at you, regardless if people don't believe in you, regardless if you don't even see the vision, you don't even see the door, but you have the feeling inside that it's there. And this is something that you need to do. This is something that you feel so strongly in your heart, something you're passionate about. I feel that this song just says it all. 
and I just love it. I love the rendition. I love the word. I love the arrangement, and it could apply to like anything in your life. Like if you're just graduating, going on into this world, hey, the the dream is yours. You know, seek the dream, the impossible dream. Uh, if you're in a relationship, and you know, the dream is to get married, you know, have your boyfriend propose or have your girlfriend, you know, say yes, I do whatever. It's not impossible. It's still a dream. Uh, if you want kids, if you want uh, more financial stability in your life, anything, I think this song speaks for it. And I love it. <clears throat> I love it a lot. And I love, like I said, the arrangement, you know, he starts. To dream the impossible dream to find the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow. And to run where the brave dare not go, and to right the unrightable wrong, and to love pure and chaste from afar. To try when your arms are too weary and to reach the unreachable star. This is my quest. Anyway, that's my song. <laughs> To follow that star, ooh, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right, without question a pause. Yeah, that, you got what I'm saying, you know, if I mix up some of the words, I'm sorry, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it a lot. So don't hold it against me. <laughs> and now Michael, I love Michael because Michael is just the top entertainer. I love the way he moves. He's like to me the whole package. Cause he sings, he performs, you know, he dances. Um, I mean, he's just like the best of the best, in my opinion. So I love him. I love his work. I love him for who he is. And what he stands for, and what he have done to the music industry, and I, I just love him for that. And I would have to say one of my favorite songs from him would have to be I love most of his fast songs, but to me I love when Michael sings the slower songs like "Who's Loving You." When I had you, that. And I love, um, when the two of us may know no more, we will find what we were looking for. When I want to come my own, I'll never be alone, and you, my friend, will see you got. Got a friend in me, got a friend in me, yeah. And of course, one more I have to put in there is Bob Marley. He is my, along with others, my favorite reggae artist. He's done a lot. He sings about what a lot of us Caribbean people go through on a daily basis <clears throat> that we um you know it, it, it's very like a hard life more or less living in a Caribbean country and um 
you have to deal with you know society and to a certain extent limitation and you know I think on a whole Caribbean people are like you know we're really mellow people really cool people really just ease going and when you have like the government constantly dipping into everything I mean at, at, at a certain point you feel like hey what can I do like like why they always come to you for like your vote and then at the end of the day they just mess up or they don't really stick to their plans and I mean this is government everywhere but I mean coming from a third world country is 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 ugh. despite I love my country but I mean it's just like too much so to Bob Marley I say all I have to say about Marley he put everything that everybody was feeling you know everything that everybody was feeling he put it into his song and I think that's the best one of the best artists out here or his songs are one of the best that I, that I really I really love you know and if it could be one of his songs that I love besides all the classic all the classic that he, he, he put out I think I would like um turn your lights down low and the pour your window curtains oh let your moon come shining in into our lives again saying ooh it's been a long long time got this message for you girl but it seems I was never on time Still I want to get through to you girl On time On time I want to give you some love Oh wow wow I want to give you some good good loving Oh I Oh I Oh I Yeah I want to give you some good good loving Love you. <laughs> Whatever Lauren said, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is my take on some of my favorite artists that I like. Of course, there's more that I really like, but those are the ones that stand out for me. And I just love them all. I try to f fuse myself in every aspect of what they have done in this music industry. Try to put it into what I want my song to be like. So, I just want to take the time out to say thank you for watching this video. I'll be doing more and, you know, just let you know what's going on, uh, my progress in this world when it comes to my music career. And I hope you like and subscribe at the bottom. Don't be afraid. I'm a cool dude and I'm always up for meeting like new friends, having new friends, you know, and, and let's have a connection people in the cyber world. Alright. So take care. Enjoy your night.